Hi, this video is going to cover how to select the right element on your page. One of the best things about Chameleon is that it is able to understand your page so that you're able to really help guide your users around into the right places. Now, selecting an element occurs in a few different places. For example, when you're setting the trigger for a step, so the conditions on which the step should show, you can require an element to be present on the page for the step to even show. So if that element is not on the page, the step will not show. You can also use a, a trigger user action. So for example, a click or a hover on a specific element on the page. So if you set that up, then the step will only show when a user clicks on that element or on hovers on that element, etc. There are some other places where elements are also relevant. For example, if you snap the step to be positioned next to an element, um, that's when it might be necessary. Um, but also in the button action, when you're configuring the button, you can actually fire a click on the element as well. So there's multiple different places where elements are relevant. So let's understand how you would select an element. So if I click uh, yes in this case, um, I have, I'm prompted to select the element, so I click that, and then I go into the point and click editor. So here, Chameleon is understanding what the page elements are present, and I can go ahead and select any element like this. That element is indicated with this green outline, and I have the option to actually further adjust this. So I can just hit confirm, but let's just dig under the hood a little bit and understand what's going on. So in this, what Chameleon has done is understood the different CSS selectors and HTML selectors that are on the page. And so, and these are included here. So for example, HTML hierarchy defines which div element it is based on the hierarchy of the page structure. So you can either ignore this or ask your developer for more help, but otherwise what you can do is try clicking around and playing around with this, uh, with these selectors if you, it's, if Chameleon is not able to select the right ex element exactly or you want some change. One example is uh, selecting or deselecting the HTML hierarchy. For example, in this case, all of these elements are on the same uh, place. And so um, if I exclude this, um, then all of those are selected. You can also, for example, ch uh, check or uncheck one of these. Uh, a, a really helpful one can be um, adding the text uh, selector. So for example, if your element contains some specific text input, then you can add that in here, uh, and then only that element will be selected. You can also go find the specific ID or class on the element. Um, and so the way to do that, for example, if I close Chameleon over here, is you can right click and inspect element um, in any of these. And then you can kind of start to understand what are the uh, classes uh, or what are the tags associated with that element. Um, if you're not familiar with that or comfortable with that, it's not too difficult. Don't let it overwhelm you. You can definitely figure it out or you can ask someone for help. So that's an overview of how um, element selection works. Hopefully, you'll have uh, good luck with this. But let us know if you have any questions. Uh, we do have a help center at help.trychameleon.com. So you can. Uh, uh, search in this for example um, I have there is a, an article about this or you can always ping us for help with this bottom uh, widget here so good luck um, and let us know if you